Hi everybody, welcome to the Cartoon Coach. Uh, today, I'm just going to go over some basic shapes. Um, just this past week, I was teaching the younger ones, the 6 to 9 age group, how to take a basic shape like a square, uh, like so, and turn it into like a 3D shape. Same with a rectangle, which is a little bit more tricky for the younger ones to grasp. Then as well, a triangle. I'm going to turn that into a 3D shape. And then, of course, a cylinder, which just basically looks like a rectangle uh, like this. So uh, it, it's quite easy. We're just going to start by putting in three lines going down like this and like that. And we're going to connect this one here and connect that one there. And we're lifting our pencil off the page and not following along. I, you know, I don't, you go like this and you start turning up and then you get this imperfect corner. So we don't want that. So you're going to be following through. Don't worry if your line goes past the other ones. Throw that one in there and then that one in there. So those lines can go really far. Afterwards, you can go in uh, with your eraser and just get rid of all the stuff that you don't want and to, to really flesh out what this shape looks like. See, there we go. We have a nice, awesome little cube without all that extra little stuff that was there. And then you can even go in and shade this area so you can see where the lighting is coming from. So the lighting is coming So now we're going to do the rectangle and that one's not too difficult if you, if you think about it a certain way. So we got one line here and one line there and another line here and another line there. And we're going to number them. We're going to go one, two, three, four. And we're going to go from line one to line two and then we're going to go from line two to line four. Then we're going to do the same up top. We're just going to follow out one to two and two to four. Now let's go backwards. We're going to do four to three and three to one. And look at that. We have a nice little rectangle. We can get rid of all this other stuff. Right? It's all gone. Let's get rid of this in here. So if you were to go over, if you were to knock this back after, which is taking it down with your with your eraser, then you could come back in. Let's get rid of this one here and really make this look super nice. And then let's add a little bit of shading just here, just so we can see where the lighting is coming from, which is in this direction. Next is a super easy one. It's a triangle. you got three lines. We're going to go down this way. This one I don't think we need to number that way and that way. You always want to make sure this middle line is the lowest of them all because you're going to take this down this way and that one up that way. And then you can just shade, shade, shade. And there's your pyramid. And again, you can go in with your eraser and just take this stuff down. Super easy, right? All right. Next is the cylinder. This one's a little bit more tricky. From When you're looking at it straight on, <clears throat> think of a soup can. You, you see this top level is flat. I mean, the soup can can be illustrated as a rectangle if you're looking at it straight on. But we want to see this in three dimensions. We want to be able to visualize it in three dimensions. And it starts with an ellipse at the top, which is this ellipse is an oval. And remember, we talked about ellipses before. An ellipse is any kind of closed circular shape and a lot of the times the ellipse can can be shown in in dimension which is what we're doing now so we're gonna put this line down this way and that line down that way and then we're gonna throw another ellipse right down here and that's how you show your cylinder you can go in with your eraser come over here and get rid of that inside line down here and what you're looking at now I'll just go over that again with my pencil just quickly. What you're looking at now is there's the top of the cylinder and you can't see the bottom because we're looking at it from a little bit of the top. That's actually called a bird's eye view. If we were looking at it from the bottom, it would be called a worm's eye view. And what you can do is you can shade just the side of the cylinder like this and that'll really help you see the dimension. So that's it. That's essentially how you do it. Now you can take the, your eraser afterwards I'm going to make mine really big and really soft. And you can just take it down a little bit if you want. This is for your shape chart that we're making today. So you take it down a little bit and you can go back in with your, with your graphite pencil and just go in and 
redo your, your, your lines so they look a little bit cleaner. That's looking really good. And then the same here. We've got these really great 3D shapes that you can build robots out of and buildings and you can build cars out of this type of stuff, vehicles, big trucks, spaceships. You can even, some characters require this kind of thinking. And I'm going to show you one of those characters right now. This I haven't taught to the six-year-olds yet. This is going to be the lesson for their eighth class. And we're going to go over how to draw SpongeBob SquarePants. And that's it. That's how you do your shape chart.